We're here today to celebrate science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics at King's Cross. We're going to be having a number of students come through the truck today to hopefully encourage more students to pursue engineering and, and STEAM initiatives in the future. Industry tells us that they are short of engineers, 20,000 a year shortfall here in the UK alone. And we need to fill that pipeline of talent. And one of the ways we can do that is encouraging people to understand what engineering in the 21st century is, how creative, dynamic, rewarding, and important it is. It's important to the economy, but more importantly, it's important to all of us as human beings. It has the ability to solve some of the great challenges, and we're trying to get that message across. And here at RS Components, this is a very important part of that. This fantastic Titan II truck demonstrating engineering technology so that people can understand it. It's playing a very important role this year. I've heard about this event happening in Birmingham and places in the past, so we thought this was a great opportunity as it's very close to us. And we've got such a, a lot of kids here who, who are very enthusiastic about this. This is a great environment for them to experience lots of different ideas, meet lots of interesting people, and hopefully inspire them to go away and think of how they can apply some of these ideas. So what I've really enjoyed about being here today is seeing the kids get really excited. As soon as they walk up, like their faces light up and they just get so excited, like, oh, what's this, what's that? They can see Lego, they can see stuff, there's crayons, like, they're so excited. And when they come off the truck, there's like that whole, like, wow, like, what have we just seen that's amazing? So yeah, I think that's been so far kind of my highlight is kind of seeing their reactions and then getting really excited about it. So today it's really exciting to be here at this RS, how you call it, battle bus of exploration and technology and I just think it's so exciting to see kids getting hands-on experience with everything from BBC's Microbit all the way through to being able to see real life professional components that real life engineers would use on their daily jobs. So I think that spectrum of creativity through to actually building the things that fuel creativity I think is really exciting. Well, we're really here today to talk all about engineering and STEM. Certainly it's a big focus of, of ours. And here it's really about inspiring the next generation. So actually, I think it's incredibly important to get kids to just realize it's a viable option. And it can start with everything from Raspberry Pi through to Lego Mindstorms. And then you can actually meet real life engineers. You can meet them, be they male or yes, female engineers, or people from all sorts of different ethnic backgrounds. And I think that's incredibly important that kids just realize it's a real thing that it's not something that you have to do if you have the best grades in the class, that it's also about creativity, lateral thinking, and just wanting to explore. I think that's what this exhibits in abundance.